Hi, I'm Abby Brown, and uh, this is lesson number three on using Dreamweaver to make a basic web page. Now, in lessons numbers one and two, we learned how to create a basic web page that had text on it and uh, format that text, and we learned how to insert a graphic into the web page. In lesson number three, we're going to learn how to create links because, as we all know, one of the great uh, powerful aspects of creating web pages is that they can be linked to other pages creating a truly interactive experience. So we've got our basic web page here, the anatomy of a rubber duck, and we have our image inserted. We have all of our information where we want it, but now we would like to make some links. The first link I would like to make is to my own website, it's my personal home page. So I want that link to come off of my name Abby Brown. So I highlight my name and once I highlight my name down here this formatting um, palette down here gives me information about this text. And one piece of information it says is link over here in the corner. So I can add the link and I add the full link HTTP colon slash slash www.ahbrown.com. Now this only works if you put the entire web address in here. It has to start with HTTP colon slash slash. So now once I do that, this becomes underlined and blue. That's the default because that's the standard um, that's the standard format for a link on a web page. So uh, now one other thing I can do, I'll highlight it again, is instead of when somebody clicks on this, if they currently, if they click on that and the link is working, it'll take them to my web page and they'll take them away from the anatomy of a rubber duck page. I would like a new browser window to open and I don't want them to leave the anatomy of a rubber duck page. I just want the new window to open on top of that other one. So we're going to say target down here. Target is blank and we just choose that from this uh, menu over here. Target is blank. Once I say target is blank if somebody does click on this now, it will open a new browser window taking them to the new location, but it won't leave this old location. Another link that I can create is a link using the image. So if I select the image, now it changes the formatting palette down here to the, to the image. I'm going to choose link is, and I'm making up one, but it's HTTP colon slash slash duckparts.com and I select that and now this is an active image. I know it's active because it has the blue line around it indicating that it itself is a link. I click on it again. I'm going to tell it also that target is blank. Now in terms of visual design you may not want the blue line around the image itself to indicate that it's a link. You may want the link to be a little more subtle. So here in what's called the border, I choose border is zero. And once I've chosen border is zero, even though this is a link, it does not have that blue line around it. But it's still a link. So that's basically how you create links using uh, the uh, Dreamweaver.